A bunch of tips and tricks for your Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. All right, for our first tip, this one is an absolute must. So when you first get your Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360, it ships with Dolby Atmos disabled. So let's take a listen to what it sounds like by default. We're at max volume. Now what you wanna do is go down to your start menu, start typing Dolby Access. All right, we'll go ahead and open that up. Once it's open, you're gonna go over to settings. And then here at the bottom, there's gonna be more settings. And by default, Dolby Atmos effects for speakers and headphones is gonna be turned off. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And then once you do, it's going to enable the dynamic equalizer preset. I recommend this one. This is what I usually use, but you can go ahead and play around with these different presets. There's quite a few to pick from and each EQ preset has different parameters that you can adjust and you have three different custom presets that you can set up as well. Again, I picked dynamic. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. Wow. It makes a huge difference in the volume, the overall width of the sound, as well as the bass. You definitely want to enable Dolby Atmos. So this next tip isn't really a tip, just more of a public service announcement. I'm just trying to save some of you some time, you know, from taking the back off your machine. Um, a lot of you are gonna wanna add a second SSD to your machine, but unfortunately this year, we do not have a second slot. Here's your primary NVMe.2 right here. Uh, that's the only one available. We don't have any additional slots this year. We do have a nice clean build this year though. Here's our dual cooling fans, our upgraded vapor chamber. Here's our massive battery, a four cell configuration down here on the bottom. We have quick breakaway connects for a lot of repairability. So it's a really nice clean build, but unfortunately we don't get a second SSD slot this year. For this next tip, with the Book 4 Pro 360 being a two-in-one laptop, the note-taking experience is awesome. Using the S Pen with S Notes is great. We can go ahead and just start out with a note here. But did you know that it's not just limited to S Notes? Here we are with a blank notepad text file. Check this out. Boom. Here we are with a new sticky note. Full input supported. You can even use your S Pen in applications where you get text prompts. Like here we have Microsoft Copilot. Whatever prompt you want, it's gonna go ahead and fill it out. So as it turns out, your S Pen can oftentimes replace your keyboard and it works out great when you're in this tablet configuration. All right, this next tip we covered in the unboxing video, I think it's pretty cool. I wanna talk about it again. Go ahead and open up your start menu. Then you're gonna open up the Intel Graphics Command Center. Once it opens up, you have these options on the side. You wanna pick the fourth one down called system, and then you wanna go over to power. And then we have these new display power savings options where we get to pick our power efficiency. So as long as you have this second option turned on, you have this slider right here. The higher the number, the lower the graphics quality. So we can basically adjust the graphics quality of our Intel Arc graphics. We didn't have this option on previous year's models that use the Intel Iris Xe graphics. This is new to Intel Arc. All right, this next tip is for those of you that are brand new to these Galaxy Book laptops. By default, you have to press function and then one of these keys on the function row to initiate the special features. Like here, I'm turning up and down the brightness. But did you know you can press function and F12 and that'll lock that function row to where you no longer have to press the function key to turn the brightness up and down. For this next tip, one of the things that suck about these Galaxy Books is that there's no LTE 5G option, so you have connectivity out on the go, at least not here in the US. But we can use our Android phone, like I have the S24 Ultra here. We can use this as a mobile hotspot and have all the connectivity you need. Let me show you to set that up real quick. All you need to do is open up the Phone Link application. Once you have the Phone Link app open, you're going to tap on these three dots right here where it says More Options, and there's going to be Instant Hotspot. So the first time you select this, it's gonna prompt you for a couple permissions on your phone as well as on your laptop, and it's gonna give you a little code to put in. And once you do that for the first time, all you're gonna do is come back here, tap on that real quick, or I should say click on it, and boom, there you go. There's Brian's S24 Ultra from our drop-down list and our available Wi-Fi networks. So this is a great way for you to have connectivity while you're out on the go. For this next tip, let's go ahead and adjust a few settings to maximize the battery life on our Book 4 Pro 360. First thing you want to do is open up Samsung settings. Once you have it open, you want to go over to display. And once you have that open, scroll down just a little bit 
And then you're gonna have display power saving function. You wanna go ahead and make sure to turn this on. Next thing we're gonna do is go into our display settings. All right, then once your display settings are open, we're gonna go down until we get to advanced display. And then you have this toggle here for your refresh rate. So by default, it's gonna be dynamic, 60 hertz or 120. If you're trying to get the most battery life possible, go ahead and bring that down to 60 hertz. One more thing that makes a big difference on your battery life is the performance profile you're in. So to switch between performance profiles, you're gonna press function and the F11 key, and that's gonna to toggle between your different performance profiles. High performance is gonna drain the most battery, and then silent mode is gonna drain the least, followed by quiet, and then this is a mode that I'm typically in, which is optimized mode. That gives you a nice balance of battery life and performance. All right, for this next tip, so the S Pin, we don't have anywhere to store it. So what you'll see in most videos is that you can just go ahead and plop it up here on the back of the lid. And this is great. You have this magnetic spot right here. It doesn't really work too well around in these areas, but it does up top in this section right here, and that's all great. But there's more areas to the laptop that you can attach it to than just that. Let me show you. So if we go down here a little bit, we can go ahead and slap the pin right here, and it'll go ahead and magnetize to the hinge on either side. And the spot where I like to put it quite a bit is right down here. This is very magnetic. This is all just metal down here. So it's just magnetizing real easy. It'll do that on either side. This is a great spot to put it when you're just walking away from your laptop. And you don't want to make sure your pin just doesn't walk away on you. Just remember to not like close down your lid and stuff on it. I'd hate to see something bad happen. For this next tip, not only do I recommend you check Windows updates often, looks like I have a failed update for a display driver. I'll try it after this video. You also want to keep tabs on Samsung updates. You'll just go down to your start menu, start typing Samsung update. Once it loads up, you're going to have two tabs on the side, drivers and Samsung apps. This is going to show you all the Samsung drivers that are currently installed. And if we go over to Samsung apps, this is where you're going to find updates to all of your Samsung apps, including everything used for the Samsung ecosystem. So you definitely want to come back here often and check for updates to your Samsung apps and drivers. For this next tip, the easiest way to get familiar with all of the Samsung specific features on this laptop is to open up the Samsung Experience app. And what's really cool is you can hover your S Pen above any of these apps and it'll give you contextual text letting you know which each one of these apps are. That's pretty awesome. So we'll go ahead and open up the Samsung Experience app. And here you go, everything at your fingertips, a complete walkthrough of everything on the Book 4 Pro 360 and all of the apps and services that are unique to this particular laptop that you're not gonna find on other machines. I definitely recommend you check this section out and we've covered many of these ecosystem features in previous videos. This is where you go to find out about all of them. This next tip is all about proper handling and care of your Book 4 Pro 360. So I've been getting these machines every year, starting with the original Galaxy Book Pro 360. And anytime I do a lengthy video on any of these machines, I always get comments about the display cracking, the potential for the display to crack. All I can say to that really is do not grab the machine right here. All right, so this is a major flex point. It's gotten better over the years. It's not near as bad as on the original Galaxy Book, but there's still a little bit of flex if you push in here between the back chassis and the display. The way around this, grab your machine here, closer to the hinges instead of the middle of it. The other common cause for any type of display cracks is putting this in a book bag and putting books on top of it. Here we have it sideways. This is a super thin display, but I will say each year they keep making it stronger and stronger. And I think the display breaking issue or display cracking is less and less of a thing each year that they keep coming out with these Galaxy Books. For this next tip, new for this year, we have Vision Booster. When you have this enabled and your laptop detects an outside light source, it's gonna increase the display brightness. Here I have the light turned on on my S24 Ultra, and we'll go ahead and point it towards the sensor up top. And you're gonna see the screen get a whole bunch brighter. We take this away, it's gonna reduce the brightness, add some more light to it, there's that brightness back. But did you know that we can increase the brightness even a little bit further? Go ahead and open up the Intel Graphics Command Center once again, but this time you're gonna pick the second option called Display over on the left. Once that's open, you're gonna pick on Color, and then once you're in the Color tab, you're gonna have this slider right here for all colors. The default value is 38. We can go ahead and bump this up a little bit, and you'll see the brightness increasing. And if we go ahead and drop this down, the overall brightness is gonna decrease, and do keep in mind, this is independent of your main brightness toggle, totally separate. So the default value here is 38. Now this is really cool to get you an extra little bit of brightness while you're outside, 
But one thing to keep in mind, you don't want to go too high with this. If you start cranking this up too much, it just starts oversaturating the screen and it looks really washed out. I typically keep it at the default 38, but some good values are right around 40 to 45. You don't want to go much higher than that though. And our final tip for today's video, but many more to come, take advantage of Samsung's Quick Share, a great way to transfer files and pictures back and forth between your Galaxy phone or tablet and your new Galaxy Book laptop. All you want to do is open up Quick Share on your Galaxy laptop. You want to make sure you're connected to the same Samsung account on all your devices, and you want to make sure Bluetooth is turned on for the best functionality, and then you'll see your devices listed up here at top, and all you have to do, and this is super awesome, we go ahead and go to our files that we want to copy over, and all you have to do is drag and drop. We're going to go ahead and plop that on the S24 Ultra. We get a prompt right on our phone screen. Give it just a second. Let's open up that file. Bam. Quickly transfer it over to my S24 Ultra from my Book 4 Pro 360. No cables ever needed. All right. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. Always do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.